The Bundi electorate is located in the mountain peaks of the Medang province and after 38 years of independence, the Bundi constituency and the people have finally something to celebrate. Twenty thirteen has seen many faced for this remote part of Medang province to receive much needed services and acknowledgement that they now have a visible and caring elected member of parliament. We like assuring you blah will get a favor known. We should not bundle in Medang province. Time no Paul Paul na steel na walk about Karangi and Pilis. On September twenty thirteen, the courts handed down its verdict that the Honorable Anton Yagama as the duly elected leader of Usinobundi electorate ahead of businessman Peter Yama. Now Yagama became MP. For the last one year we have seen real service. Nakundi needs these services. Upon the court's decision, the member bulldozed the idea to open the road to Bundi Station and fast-tracked the idea to celebrate its first independence. The member Anton Yagama ensured that the remote station's road was bulldozed through and appointed a committee to organize the first independent celebration to be staged at Bundi Station. All this seemed so unlikely to eventuate with only a week to realize but with Mr. Yagama's persistence and hard work from his team, what seemed an impossible task revolved into a memorable occasion for the people the province and all those who attended. On the 13th of September, a small delegation of vehicles convoyed from Medang to Bundi with the Honorable Member. From end to end and through very dangerous cliffs, rugged terrain, stiff mountain climbs, dangerous caves and river crossings, the delegation pressed on to legitimately officiate this momentous occasion for the district. It is approximately two and a half hours drive from Medang to Bundi station and an undertaking that was much appreciated by the delegation who observed the hardship the people of the electorate faced every day. As we drove through the terrain passing people walking this treacherous trail to take part in the celebrations and at intervals welcoming party stage sing-sings to rejoice their parliamentary leader's arrival. One cannot but sense the society's long-awaited plight at the same time, delight and joyfulness in one of its sons bringing much-needed development. No bus or truck for that matter has ever had road access to Bundi Station and the much needed service required by the people has been non-existent. One cannot but feel the people's plight and cries for basic services.
1958, the Catholic mission built the station with the help of the people. Yes, well, I came here in, Ma in um, March 1958 as a lay missionary, and the bishop knows that. And I was, came here to help Father Mike Morris, who had just started this school. He started this school, I think, in February that same year. The mission station is made up of a school, hospital, workshop, police station, hall and guest house that boasts the entire amenities one requires. All this was built by labor from the people of the time and missionaries. Usinobundi is a constituency made up of three local level governments. They are Usino, Bundi and Gama local level government. Usino Bundi district shares its common boundaries with Simbu province and Western Highlands provinces. It is also one of the least developed districts in Medang province. One cannot comprehend what the past elected leaders have been doing and the funds allocated for the district being squandered with no tangible change. I believe the changes has come because neither he had vision nor change this thing. Like Ushnabuni is the most strategic and economical district that boosts the boosts the economy of this nation. We have the mango mine and agro industry, we have a MCC, Romanical, and we have a Banam guest. On the 14th of September 2013, the sun rose early where the communities were awakened by the sound of the Bush Brass Band and the shouting and wailing to the excitement of the independence celebration. This day saw people of all walks of life arriving from all corners of Bundi and Usino. These individuals were government officials representatives of various departments and villages. Their purpose was to witness the occasion which was going to be the first of its kind because Bundi has never celebrated independence since 1975. Suppose you sit down and you look your good. This blood day, this blood one blood day, and this special day from you. You must write him long old story book from you long Bundi. Long and loose in this land. Long this land day, plant the old face plus something you come up. Now, Mila commend him, local member from you, leader from you. Long contribute him, some long, some long, long all this long face plus something you come up. 2013 will be accepted in Bundi history where the people for the first time saw the opening of their road, saw the arrival of motor vehicles, celebrated independence and received important delegation to their station. Significant government representatives arrived via road as well as flew in by helicopter. The Honorable Anton Yagama, member for Usino Bundi, and his delegation drove via road while the Honorable Governor of Medang, Jim Kass, and His Excellency Grand Chief Sir Michael Ogio and officials arrived via three helicopters. This was a momentous and historic event for the people and the member for Usinobundi could not have asked for any more significant result and endorsement than this day. Are we one people? Give me one people. Yes, you may try, you may try, all the time you may try to be one people, to be united as one people.
After months of ongoing court battles, final triumph in the court and in the people's heart was sweet victory for the member Mr. Yagama. All activities came to a standstill as a gesture of appreciation to those who stood by his side through thick and thin. He thanked them customarily. When the celebrations and drum stops beating and the dust settles, the people of Usinobundi walk back to their secluded hamlets pondering the leadership that is bringing much awaited changes after 38 years of independence. Across these plains, rivers and mountainous terrain, one sees the challenges the member for Usinobundi faces to deliver much expected service to his people. But the straight-talking member is not faced by this task but has developed his five-year plan and is pushing ahead. A son of the Gende people, Honorable Anton Yagama, a product of the mission station of 1958, has been accepted by his people to lead for change. With the rich Ramu plains and the mineral-rich mountains of Medang province, the partnership from these resources will support Member Yagama to realize his development plans for the people of Usinobundi and Gama districts.